You know, Mike, uh, <clears throat> I know we, we talked about this a bit on, on Friday, and you, you, you seem to have a hard time believing that the New England Patriots didn't want Tom Brady back. Man, it seems so weird to say it like that, but I'm going to say it like that. They didn't want Tom Brady to come back to play for the Patriots. And that, I mean, that's just, it, it's mind boggling. And that wasn't their first mistake of saying, Tom Brady, you're a free agent and we're okay if you don't come back. Mistake before that was not offering him a two year contract extension. And the mistake before that, and this is where, uh, you know, Bill Belichick, I'm just shocked that he allowed himself to get to this position because there are exceptions. There are always exceptions when you're dealing with exceptional people. And that was in 2014, he mentioned the age of Tom Brady. He mentioned Brady's age and his contract status as justification mm -hmm. for drafting Jimmy Garoppolo in the second round. And from that moment, 2014, as you pointed out already today, uh, to start that season, the 14th season, uh, Tom Brady was 37. And since that time, he's won four Super Bowls. Three of them with New England, one with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's won four and he's appeared in five since 2014. That's nuts. My point is this. You should never... I don't care what, the, what, what, what your eyes tell you, what a birth certificate tells you. You should never walk away from players like this. When you don't have a Steve Young backing them up, you should never say to Tom Brady, you don't have a place here. My position is, Mike, you stay with those guys until their arms fall off. You stay with them, stay with them two years too long. Don't get, don't get rid of them a year too early. And I'm just shocked that the Patriots, who usually make some really smart decisions with personnel, couldn't see the difference between, say, Tom Brady and Lawyer Malloy, Tom Brady and Richard Seymour, Tom Brady and Deion Branch, Tom Brady and any number, Adam Vinatieri, any number of players where they've gone with their, their rubric, so to speak, of, hey, this is how we do business. This is the Patriot way. You get to be a certain age, certain contract. We move on and we replace you. You, not with him. You can't do but that that's why, but you, with but the player. But you said like I had him. a tough time. You said I had a tough time believing that they just flat out did not want him back under any circumstances. Right. You just articulated why. Like, that's why it's, 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 it's got to be some mutuality to this. It's like, wait, because... It, it, it's Listen, age. Very few, very few players. They were waiting. They were just yeah. waiting for him to die. And but it even hasn't last happened. year, right? That's what I'm saying. Every, very few players get be, are able to retire with and play with one team their whole career. It rarely, if ever, happens. Definitely not in football. You know, we'll see a Kobe, a Dirk, a Duncan in the NBA, but rarely in football does that happen. So it's like. Even Brady was like, wasn't naive enough, at least as time went on, to say it's never going to happen to me. But it shouldn't have happened to him. You, you would think if there was going to be an exception, not just for an exceptional person, but an exception to the rule of like, you know, team moving on a year too early versus a year too late, you would think it would have been him because they had to see that the limitations on offense weren't just his regression, uh, inevitable regression, or so they thought. I mean, Michael Ledoux this year led the league in deep yards. Led the league in deep yards this year. <laughs> right, Tom Brady. So they didn't just miss, they missed badly on this evaluation of, of what he had left. That's why it just kind of feels, and because he ended up in such a, so much of a better situation, it's in a better situation. It, and not just, I mean, look, they were all-time great defense, at least for most of last season. Um, and then won the Super Bowl the year before. So not to say that the Patriots defense wasn't great, but because of opt-outs, but even just with the, the, the way the defense evolved in Tampa, there's a better defense in Tampa than the one he left in New England. There's certainly better skill position talent, and that's even without Rob Gronkowski coming out of, out of retirement, better skill position talent in Tampa than New England. I, that's why I'm just like, 
Yeah, but it worked out for you, though, too. It's like maybe they didn't oh, want oh, you oh, back. Listen. But if you're Tom Brady and they do want you back and you have the option between New England, set aside nostalgia and, and sentimental, you know, and, and, and the romantic Hollywood story, you know, ending, you got to check. If, if you said Tom Brady, you can either retire in New England or you can go to Tampa and throw to these dudes. Tom Brady, even not even knowing he would win a Super Bowl, should have taken Tampa if he had the choice. Man, look, I, I, I think I always say this, and I'm always surprised when it happens. I'll say it again. I can't think of an example off the top of my head, like uh, of an example coming down the road. I can think of past examples, mm -hmm. but I'm going to say it again. It will I happen. I almost thought it would be Rodgers. <laughs> I'll be surprised when it happens. You know what yeah. breaks up? What breaks up historic teams or historic uh, relationships, duos, ego, whatever, ego. is ego. It's, mm -hmm. it's, like, it's what did the, the Beatles. That's what happened to the Beatles, okay? I'm telling you, that's what happened to Belichick and Brady. It's ego. Look, they weren't excited by some of the things that he was doing. They, didn't, they weren't excited, but he's passive-aggressive, okay? Mm -hmm. Tom Brady's passive-aggressive. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a flaw. So if he's got a problem... He's got a way of saying it, but he won't come out and say it directly. So what? They should have been able to get past that. Like, they didn't want him to skip OTAs. But I look at it, Mike, and say, man, I'm 40 years old. I've been <laughs> in your OTAs. Man, <laughs> All right, I'm a grown man, me, dog. I'm a grown ass. <laughs> Call me no delicious. <laughs> come have on, me come man. to OTAs? Come to your OTAs. Delicious! Yeah, right. I'm a grown. I'm a grown man. I've been coming to OTAs and fighting for this little mythical parking championship, the parking <laughs> space, <laughs> since I was 24 years old. At 40, I can avoid OTAs, which are voluntary, right. and still get my work done. Only in the NFL do fans get mad about employees who decide not to do something voluntary. Now, voluntary. you you and I have both worked with some places. I, I work with some people who count every single minute. Like, back in the day, you punch a clock, they count everything. Yeah, what time's you punch They're taking long... Yeah, exactly. They're taking double yeah. breaks. Yeah. They're taking all their vacation. Yeah. they fighting for two more vacation days. But Tom Brady don't want to go break. to a voluntary OTA, and you're like, oh, wait a minute. What's wrong yeah. with him? So it's just ego. Ego has 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 put the Patriots in a position where they don't have the greatest quarterback of all time on their side. Avoidable. Don't make that mistake. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.